it looks like the coalition is finally adding some pretty needed content to gears 5 i know i've made a lot of videos in the past talking about everything that gears 5 is missing just about the entire community despite them really enjoying the game have all come to an understanding that it's lacking in content whether it's cosmetics or just anything really and well they just put out an update this update came out october 1st so this was yesterday and they added quite a few stuff so i'll be going through that one of the first changes albeit it's pretty small but a lot of people were asking for it is they finally made it visible for re-ups to be viewed by players but only to themselves right now sadly so if you re-upped before the update was out there really was no indication to not only tell others but tell yourself like what re-up you're at well they added a feature now where you can check out what re-up you are in your player card however they did state that they are still working on showcasing your re-up level in leaderboards and in multiplayer scoreboards so oh and lobbies so not not yet to where to where we want because it's as i said it's something pretty small but to a lot of players it, it's actually quite a big deal um so hopefully they get that out sooner than later but it's a step in the right direction at least all right another pretty big update that they are going to be implementing is that they're going to be bringing back double stars for your tour of duty if you weren't aware i believe it was two weeks ago they had an event where your daily challenges would give you double stars to work towards the tour of duty and a lot of people actually like this including myself i actually made quite a bit of progress and the coalition stated that due to positive you know feedback that they got from this event they're actually going to be bringing it every single saturday before they had it planned for every like couple of weeks because they were going to be rotating the events that happen on Saturday but now it's going to be live every Saturday so that's pretty good I know a lot of people are still unhappy with the tour of duty but it's kind of like a compromise for people that really want to grind out I myself actually I said I had quite a few issues with the tour of duty but I've made quite a lot of progress so it's not as bad as I initially thought then again maybe I play more than others but yeah those are my thoughts on that so Double Stars is coming back every single Saturday. So if you want to make progress in your tour of duty but don't really have time to play, make sure you play at least on Saturdays because that will get you those skins and that extra iron. Don't forget, you actually get iron from doing the tour of duty, which is their in-game currency. So that is something good that they are doing. Make sure you check that out every Saturday. And now the last two things I want to talk about, in my opinion, probably the biggest changes coming is the first one being that the supply supply drop content is rotating out every week they add new stuff to the supply drops and this week there's actually a character skin in it it is classic dell i think this is the first time they've added a character skin before it's mostly been either weapon skins banners which to be fair most people were disappointed in getting and it didn't really add much excitement when you got a supply drop because to be fair supply drops aren't that hard to get you get like one or two every couple of matches so the earning of supply drops in itself is not difficult whatsoever in my opinion however the rewards also weren't very rewarding but they actually added a skin this time which people have been screaming at the coalition for they've been they've been wanting them to add more skin so there you go you got one it isn't a supply drop so it is going to be kind of random to whether or not you get one but in my opinion supply drops aren't that hard to get in you know to start off with the second thing is that the coalition is adding versus special events now these have been around since i believe gears 3 i don't remember if they added them in gears 2 but i do remember them being in gears 3 and it's just like a fun little quick play multiplayer pvp thing that people can do in the past they've had big head mode they usually do it for holidays like um everybody's head is replaced with a pumpkin or everybody's head's replaced with a snowman and things like everyone's got a boom shot or long shots only stuff like that one hit KO, those are pretty fun. These events will be rotating every week, so after seven days we'll get a new event. The first one we're getting is called RK Double Trouble, and in this one all skulls gained are doubled. Get ready to see a lot of snipers because you already see a lot of snipers in arcade, and now that everything's doubled, one headshot, they're gonna have four skulls. 
it's gonna be it's gonna be fun. Yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it. You know, everybody's gonna be having weapons really quick, so that's fun. So if you want to check that out, it's live right now. And as I said, you have a whole week to try it out. Those were, in my opinion, the biggest changes coming this week. We got double stars every Saturday. Reups are now visible. They're still working on making them visible to everybody in the lobby, but for now, at least they're visible to us. New character skins being added to supply drops and events coming back so those are always fun yeah let me know y'all thoughts on this week's gears 5 patch notes and i hope you'll have a good one catch y'all next time